Hey guys, it's Roomboy, the one only Great Dane, back in day 318, star drop open. So let's see, we have. Epic! Starting with an epic, 200 points. Rare. 2 rare. 100 extra doubles. Super rare. And the super rare. Of 100 coins. So, I did see one of the recent comments saying that they did prefer the videos without the music in the backgrounds, which. Again, makes sense, I assume it's probably quite irritating to have me talking in the background of the video, not actually being able to hear what I'm saying. But I did personally prefer to have the music in the backgrounds. Uh, again, I guess I can only really do that if I'm recording on the PC then. But other than that, we still have Trophy Escape in the mode selection. So I have been enjoying that quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking I would probably try pushing Miko up to a thousand trophies, which would be my first brawler ever to make it to a thousand trophies. Again, I, I'm not really sure where people fall on the trophy escape mode. I personally enjoy it quite a bit for a solo mode. Like, I really don't like duels that much, because it pretty much guarantees that it's going to favor some brawlers on some maps anyway, so it doesn't really feel like there's much of a choice there, in my opinion. Uh, and again, I don't want to say that Trophy Escape doesn't have certain brawlers in mind. It's usually always assassins, but it at least still feels like you have more of a choice there, you know? But anyway, we have Dr. Edgar for 50% off in the shop. We have two of the recolored skins still in the shop, as well as the blue Super Ranger Brock. Again, these are epic skins, so I assume you will eventually be able to hopefully get them out of star drops, but if you really are a fan of them, you can get them right now for 5,000 bling or full price. We have a hypercharge in the shop again. I'd recommend you guys wait and try to get those out of star drops if you can to get the most benefit out of your coins. For a daily freebie, I have 15 coins as well as 5 credits. Again, maybe I'll try having the music off when I open the star drops tomorrow and see if that makes much of a difference. Again, I don't know if it does. It's just unfortunate that they still haven't made it so that you can hold on to your star drops. E even if it's just for a day, you know, they can add like a little button up by the start game selection, like uh, right under clubs or something, right above the play button. And it'll literally just store your three star drops. And I know what you're thinking. What if you then end up getting more than three star drops? Well, then they can literally just have it auto-collect the next day, right? Because it, it recycles the next three daily star drops or whatever they're doing at the time. So it's not like you're going to be missing out on rewards anyway. I just prefer that it didn't auto-collect immediately. Because, again, I, I can't go into the game without having to record if I want to play or I have some extra time before I record, I can't do that. At least not without recording in a weird situation. Uh, but anyway, as of today, I have 100 XP doublers and 57,680 power points. And again, the only time we've been able to hold star drops has been from the uh, World Cup uh, variant games from the Brawl Stars Esports, those types of uh, streams that you can watch on the Brawl Stars Esports page where you get the rewards through your inbox, those you can hold on to. But even then, uh, I know I was holding on to like 2,000 credits and that even ended up getting auto-collected if you don't collect enough. If you get too many things in your inbox, it auto-collects things apparently as well, so... Yeah, it, it, it's obviously possible for them to make it so that you don't have to claim the Star Drops right, right away. They just chose not to. I don't know why. But I think it's quite unfortunate, and I'm hoping they will eventually change that. As well as the fact that I, again, have just an, an egregious amount of power points. I, I really don't know what they're thinking here with that. But again, let me know what you guys are thinking of the new Super Ranger Brock skins if you plan on buying any of them. And what you're thinking of the trophy escape mode being back in the game. But other than that, let's see how far I can take this, guys.